Installation of the TPC-812 is actually a pretty simple affair. It uses the same mounting kit that Cooler Master has used with great success in the past on a couple of other coolers. First step, of course, mounting the back plate, which is also going to include mounting your mounting nuts to the motherboard. Back plate will go into place, and retention bolt, or I should say nut, is going to go through the motherboard and through the back plate itself. Pop right through. Nut will go on the back. With the four installed, you can then use the included nut driver along with the Phillips head screwdriver to tighten the four. Of course, using an X pattern to tighten. Also, once again, do not over tighten. You just want them snug and secure in place. And looking at the front side of the motherboard, as you can see, we've now got the four mounting points installed for the TPC-812. Uh, very, very simple procedure, as you can see. We've got a crossbar with four screws, which is going to screw into that. So, take our tower. And we're going to feed crossbar right on through, open it up, and it will go into place and screw down into place. When you're tightening down the TPC-812, uh, very important to remember the screws actually will bottom out. So you tighten until they stop. This is going to give you even pressure all the way around with absolutely no margin for error. So with the tower in place, final step, we're going to install the fan. As you can see we're installing on an AMD and unfortunately it does not install with a back to front. It is a bottom to top flow. Fan snaps into place and we'll simply plug it in the motherboard and the installation is complete. The TPC-812, as you can see in the case, is not a huge cooler. It actually has a pretty small footprint for such a uh, tall tower. Uh, obviously adding a second fan is going to make it a bit bigger. It'll get a footprint more like a V6 GT or a Hyper 612 with two fans. But very good looking cooler in the case. Really nice finish on the top. As you can see, it's six heat pipes as well as the two uh, vertical vapor chambers jutting up through the top.